I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and hopefully um, I've gained enough insight to have somewhat of be able to put something together that somewhat resembles a casting tech. Just gonna lay it across here, but I think I'm gonna stop it right here. I want whoever's gonna sit in this front seat to have leg room. Worst case scenario is you gotta prop your feet up on the casting deck, but I want it to be removable. More than likely, I'm gonna screw this up. So, worst case scenario is I've wasted about $50, you know, uh, in wood. I'm trying to be smart and do it on there, you know, but that wasn't working out. Uh, I'm more of just, let's just eyeball it and see how it works out. So it looks kind of rough right now, but that is actually the right size. I'm gonna get my sander out and just try to sand it smooth to the size that I need it. And then that way it should fit pretty snug in there. Otherwise, I kind of think things are actually going okay, much to my surprise. I haven't ruined anything yet, so um, that's good. So as you can see, it fits in there pretty nicely. Uh, for eyeballing this, I think it looks fantastic because this is all pretty much just kind of eyeballed and guesswork, which I know isn't the way you build things, but I kind of said from the get-go that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but what I was able to get done today was basically to kind of shape this, this casting deck here so whoever's sitting in this seat will be able to have leg room as well as step up onto the deck there and cast off of it if they want to. All I got to do then is, is weatherproof this and then put the contact cement on there, wrap the carpet around, staple it on, and then we're, that's it. We're pretty much done at that point. Again, I want this to be removable. When all that's kind of finished, uh, I'll, I'll mount this little light here on the front bow. That's really all we have left. I don't know if it's, we can get it done today or not, um, but I'm going to try. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, update on the boat uh, the the casting deck is obviously done it turned out quite well I am very happy with it we've already had it out fishing and Brianna stood up on it I've stood up on it it's totally stable it only weighs about 35 40 pounds and I just can't believe that I didn't waste any wood it was all a one-shot deal I went for it and And, and kind of like I said before, if you, if you knew, if you had any idea of my lack of ability to build things, then this is nothing short of amazing. <laughs> so anyway, the bow light, I went ahead and attached that to the removable deck. These fishing rod holders, I'm not going to do anything with those. I'm just going to leave those on there. I don't like them or dislike them. I just don't see me using them except for in storage. So it's fine the way it is right now. I don't really care. I did add this, this fishing rod holder right here. I got that at Dunham's. Uh, I'm a little disappointed though because I got both of these and I had intended on putting one back there as well, but this one is broken. 
uh, this is stripped. So thank you, Dunham's, I guess. My life vests and stuff and the anchor sits underneath here and I guess whatever else you wanted to put in there. We did have three people in the boat uh, that we, we added it up with the deck and everything. It was something like 475, 480 pounds and we were totally fine. So we might even have been able to fit another person in there. I know that's probably gonna exceed the weight of the boat, but that's just kind of what they gotta tell you, I think. I watched a video where like five people were on a boat smaller than this and they were totally, well, I wouldn't say they were fine, but they didn't sink. Right now, my live well, I kind of put this together. I put a hole in a cooler and uh, got this little aerator here to keep the fish alive. That's the best I got for right now as far as my live well, and that's just where it's going to have to go for now. This is my kind of tackle bag for now. Uh, I got this, um, these iPads over here. They connect to my deeper over there, which I've had that deeper for probably about four years, and it still works great. Uh, I've got this old iPad that I attach this battery on the back. So that when we're out on the water, uh, you know, I can constantly keep that charged. Probably gonna replace this with just this crate, put some fishing rod holders on the outside of that maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I'm kinda, like I said, I'm kinda up in the air as far as what we're doing with all this stuff except for this. This has to be here. Got this motor guide, trolling motor. It works just fine for what we need it for. I'd like to get a little more powerful one, maybe 30 pounds or, yeah. I think 30 pound thrust would be good, um, but this one's fine for now. I'm not gonna push it. 